switch from polar to rectangular, what am I talking about? I'm saying find the Cartesian, ooh, fancy, uh. Find the Cartesian when they give you the polar, not that one, this one. They give you polar, they give you r theta, they want you to go and they want you to find x, y. Where, what? This is our point, so that's the one we're converting, but how? How are we gonna take x's, how are we gonna take r's and thetas and convert them to x's and y's? This guy's! Here, x equals r cosine theta. Where does that come from? Boom, boom, right triangle. This is x, this is y, this is r, that's theta. There's your relationship. x squared plus y squared, or more specifically, the cosine of theta is equal to this one over that one, x over y. Boom! Oh, hieroglyph! Yeah, that's old stuff. That's how I'm going to change this guy, because here I have an r, and there I have a theta, and here I have the connection with r's and thetas and x's and y's. That's y's. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to find those guys. x equals r cosine theta. So I'm going to go and I'm going to plug it in, plug it in. It's going to make the whole room smell fresh. Yes, loose. And the cosine of minus deuce pi over three. Oh, here the cos. Whoa, 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 there. Boom. Swing two. Oh, negative. Boom. Pi over two pi's over three. Bam. That's your point right there. Here, that's going to be negative because we're to the left of the y-axis, and that's going to be minus two times. Wait for it. Wait for it. Is that right? No. Now, that's good. Where'd that minus sign come from? That minus sign came from the cosine of two pi's over three. The cosine of two pi's over three is the same as the pi over three. Well, hmm, over three, that, that's the half. Anyway, I have a minus one. Now I have to go and get the one for y. Y. Y is equal to r sine theta, cause sine governs y. Cosine governs x. So then what's next? This is r and the sine of a minus two pi over three. Again, we are in a negative rotation this way. Why so negative? Because we go negative rotation there, and then that's two pi's over three there, okay. So then our sine is gonna be negative because we are below the axis, x axis. So then I go and I should have put a deuce there. Why? Because my r is a deuce and I deduce that this is gonna be two times, wait for it, minus the third root over two? Yeah, because root three over two is the sine of a minus two pi over three. So then we see that's minus root three. Now we just have to put it together in one tight package. Our r theta, this guy, boom, is going to translate to this one over here. Uh -huh. So then my x is a uh, minus one and my y is a uh, minus root three. Then we are Box and whale noise. No! Polar Rose, which is coming. Don't say I never got to anything. <laughs>